Hey guys, how's it going? I'd like to show you my 2016 highlight reel. These are all videos from 2016 that I thought were gonna be pretty funny. They made me chuckle and I wanted to be able to share it with you. So what I did this year, unlike most years, is I thought ahead. I decided to take all the funny moments as I was editing and take those clips and put them into a little folder. That way I could create a video at the end of the year, this being the end of the year, that highlights those specific elements and those specific moments. So let's take a few minutes to watch some of the funny things from Common Man Cocktails 2016. Roll the footage, me. All right, ready? You got everything? I don't know. Oh, shit, are we coming? Hold on. No, see this little red light? Yeah. I like to make sure it's on so we don't record the whole thing. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Just like it's like, yeah, yeah. So now we all know what Derek thinks of recipe means. Yeah. We, just, we just hang out. Oh, Common Man Cocktails with Derek and I. We just pop out of this shit. <laughs> Next time you're with friends, friends and you're doing a tasting and somebody goes, what's that taste like? You just go, <laughs> and then, and, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many more drinks we're getting in tonight if you're afraid. <laughs> what? Just I, saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like. It's like Penn and Teller. You're just the, you're just the, you're, it's just reverse. Penn and Teller? Tall, tall, but you're taller. Like yeah. I'm the big guy, but, but you do the talking. You, no, you just need to pour some more, uh, some more rum in there, or vodka, or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. And now the paint is melting off the can as it drinks. It's, it's made it better. That is how you make the Irish trash can, my friends. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Ready? Yeah, Put this under here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's right here. No, it's still there. They put the light under the Shine damn hood. It down under. Don't you see the light? It's way under the hood. Most people put it up in the top. I don't want to make sure it's going. See it under there? It's light. Oh, uh, okay. That's, that way we don't. Record you tell me that every time because I'm always like, shit, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> every time I'm like, fuck. I am, I am 100 percent certain I understand where you're coming from because when I think about what I do when I do that to do that, it does. It just seems weird. Because you're funny. Because he always. <laughs> But you don't understand because if you saw back here, he's like, he's like ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we did a oh, triple God, threat combo, like, I did. Boom, boom. You're like that guy that when you're playing Street Fighter, he's like, hit, 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 and you're like flying across the screen, and like, ugh, and all of a sudden you're dead, and you're like, I didn't get to shoot and it hit anybody, and there's like 40 quadro point, super point totals, and everything happens. You use Amaretto and orange juice by yourself, is wicked awesome. Here's Sip it. Ship it. Ship okay. it. Ship it. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Ah! We'll get this right. Step back. Oh, son of a bitch! God damn it! How many times are you gonna do that and be like, oh. <laughs> just a couple more? Question of the day: What annoys the fuck out of you? Do you wear glasses? Do you have to deal with cleaning the shit out of them because some asshole throws stuff at you? Is that your thing? I'm an asshole. In this case. You didn't know. <laughs> you like ride? I don't give a fuck. Watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling. Ah! 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 Daily spots. <laughs> All right, you ready? Got it. <laughs> what are we gonna make for you today? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna pee myself. I wanna do a little tutorial on, on tempering. <laughs> that lemon did not wanna be in this drink. Yeah, I do. This tastes like ethanol and, and paint. Okay. This felt like paint. Okay. If you're gonna do a shot. But it didn't taste like ethanol. No. If you're gonna do a shot, this Sorry. was a little sweet. Well, no! <laughs> that one, this one, I, the pain makes me feel more like a man. I feel like I got a little chest hair because of it. You have this a little one, chest hair. Right. Not a lot of chest hair. <laughs> and someone you bring on trivia night and you were like, we're gonna rock this. Me and Ian are gonna play fucking $10,000 pyramid. We're gonna be on fucking TV. It's $100,000 pyramid. $100,000 pyramid. <laughs> so you're playing the $10,000 pyramid. You know, I guess we gotta work our way up to the push <laughs> Well, yeah. I thought we'd go for the local news sneak channel first. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter what pipe it's violating. <coughs> oh, fire water? <laughs> That's what that is! I thought that was a Kapari. 
But it kept growing. Oh, it's still there. We do <laughs> when you take fire water down the wrong pipe. So. <laughs> and that's how you play the lemon peel. Yeah. What just happened? <laughs> you face looks like you're drowning. You're drowning in oxygen. It's felt, awesome. I felt like I was drowning. And then you're like talking and it's like. <laughs> yeah, that's a punch oh. of the dick. What do you think, yeah, Jen? That's horrible. Punch of the dick shooter. Made up on Common Man Cocktails right here. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Common Man Cocktails in 2016. So if you're new to the show, hopefully some of these videos draw you in. All the links will be below so you can click over and watch the full videos. If you're an old school viewer, you've been watching for a year or more, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, a flashback. Some of them being more current, some of them being a little bit older of what we've done and some of the different highlights and funny moments. One of the things that I really enjoy is having a co-host. When I originally started, it was just me. Getting a funny moment wasn't necessarily as easy because it's hard to be funny when you're by yourself. But having that secondary dynamic of an extra co-host makes it so much more fun. Of course, it does add a little bit of an element of chaos, uh, but it increases the perspective for people that um, like specific types of drinks that kind of map to a specific co-host. So what I want you to do below is write which co-host kind of reflects your taste palette. It might be me. I kind of brought, have a broader range, but there are things I don't like, like Campari. If you don't like Campari, you might be on my side. If you're a huge Campari lover and you like the classic drinks, you might be on the side of Ian. If you're more of a sangria wine type of drinker, maybe you're on the side with Jalitha. If you're into gin, could be Dan, could be Jalitha, could be Ian, could be me. So write below and tell me what you think. Lastly, what I did want to mention is I went through most, if not all of the comments from one of the recent vlogs I did saying we're going to have 2017 upcoming changes. If you haven't seen that video, I'll see if I can remember to link it below. Um, and, and we're going to be moving to a three cocktails a week schedule. And I'm also going to start focusing a little bit more on the build process. So as me or Ian or whoever is, is building the drink, explaining a little bit more rather than just glossing over it. Because some of the new viewers that are new to cocktails that are discovering us, um, those that don't have a perspective of cocktails are missing out because of me, I screwed up, and I'm not explaining the process of making some of these cocktails. I used to do that, but over time it became repetitive and it kind of just fell out of the show's rotation of things that you need to cover in each episode. So hopefully this year coming up, we can reinvent ourselves by kind of going back a little bit to what we've done and remember some of the very important aspects of cocktail creation, specifically for those new viewers that want to be able to understand not just the taste profile, but how to get the cocktail built. While it seems easy to a lot of us that have been doing it for a while, sometimes explaining the ratios of the pours, when you stir, when you shake, as you're doing it, is important to some of the new folks. And since the show's trying to bring value to a wide scope audience, I think it's important that we keep some of those elements in the show. Your feedback would be greatly appreciated, not just positive. I get tons of positive feedback and I get a bunch of trolls. But then there's the stuff in the middle, the stuff that you guys think needs to be part of the show, stuff that might have lost some context, lost some of the vision that you believe is one of the key reasons you started subscribing and maybe you're not seeing that anymore. If that's the case, it might be something I might need to bring back because I forgot or it's just... We do a lot of stuff, and when I'm working in this content every single day, it's hard to look at it from the outside in. You're my outside perspective, so leave me some comments about what you think of the show and how you think of some key elements that might make it a little bit better. That's it, my friends. Can't wait to see 2017's videos. Remember, January is going to be me, Doug, Ian. We're all going to be on the show, so you're going to be able to see all kinds of cool, fun content. Hopefully, we'll have some memorable scenes for 2017. That's it teach you how to drink.